Okay. February 2nd, 2013 still. I can get that to stay up. Joseph's greatness. For seven years, there were rich harvests in Egypt, and Joseph stored up grain every year. So when seven years of famine came, there was food for Egyptians and food to sell to people of other lands. It was Joseph who had charge, who had charge of selling the grain to those who came, driven by famine from every country on earth. The king said to the people, Go to Joseph, do whatever he commands. There came to Joseph ten men from Canaan, who bent very low before him. He remembered how they had bowed down to him in his boyhood dreams. But he cast one of them, Simon, into prison. Then he gave, but the cast, but he cast one of them, Simon, into prison. Then he gave them as much grain as they could carry, saying, "Bring Benjamin to see me, and I will set Simon free." Soon the corn that the brothers had bought was gone. When Judah, one of the brothers, promised to bring back Benjamin, Jacob agreed to let his youngest son go. The brothers set out for Egypt. When Joseph saw Benjamin, he wept for joy. He made a banquet for his brothers and ordered that their sacks should be filled with grain. But his steward was to put Joseph's own silver cup into the sack that belonged to Benjamin. As planned by Joseph, the cup was found in Benjamin's sack, and the brothers had to return to Joseph's house. Then Joseph said, Let Benjamin remain as my servant. The rest of you may return home. Judah cried, Take me as your servant. What shall I say to my father if Benjamin does not return? Jacob will die of grief. At these words, Joseph began to weep before them and said, I am Joseph, your brother. Then all the brothers were very happy. When Jacob heard that Joseph was ruler of Egypt, he could not at first believe it. Then he said, Joseph is alive. I will go and see him before I die. So Jacob set out on his journey with all that he had. Joseph got into his chariot and went to meet his father on the way. He embraced him, kissed him, and wept with joy. Joseph gave his father and his brothers rich land in Goshen. Brittany, did you fall asleep on me already? Alright. Alright. Let's get you sleep. Let's get you tucked in. Come here. Go lay on your pillow. I'll put that one right over there for you. Okay, so we're... Alright. Let me get you all tucked in.